everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again, here to bring you another segment on love and life as it really is. Now, it's old news now that Prince Harry is engaged to Meghan Markle. What is different about her from all his previous girlfriends is that She's a divorcee, she has African blood, and she's four years older than he is, with her at 36 and him 32. Now, despite feminism and people trying to say that men and women are equal and the same, there are some biological truths which we can't ignore. And that is, women have a limited fertility period after which that window will shut. So what will this mean for Meghan Markle? For this we will need to look at some other famous women over 35 that have had kids for the first time. In the general population there is only around um, half a percent of all the births being twins but we see twins happening quite often um, with the rich and famous. And it's at a rate that is far, far higher than that of the general population. Now, a couple of examples we'll look at are Amal Clooney having fraternal twins at the age of 39, and it was her first pregnancy. Princess Charlene of Monaco, had fraternal twins at 36, again her first pregnancy. Jennifer Lopez had fraternal twins again at 39, again her first pregnancy. Julia Roberts had fraternal twins at 37, her first pregnancy again. Mariah Carey having fraternal twins at 41. And even Princess Mary of Denmark had fraternal twins at 38. And the list goes on. Now, most multiple pregnancies conceived with IVF treatments are usually fraternal twins. So my con conclusion here is that because these women are over 35, their remaining fertility window is very limited. So they will try to fit in having as many babies as they can so having twins is a good idea for them and they would have had to resort to IVF to achieve it, especially when you look at the birth, the birth rate of fraternal twins among these celebrities. That's not natural. Now, Meghan Markle will be 37 when she marries Prince Harry. And even if she got pregnant straight away, she will be around 38 when she gives birth to her first child. So given this limited time frame, I expect she will also resort to IVF to get twins as well, so she can have her instant family. In fact, there are already some reports that she wants to have twins for an instant family and is worried about her fertility. You see, Kate Middleton is already having her third child now, so Megan will feel the pressure to not be too far behind in terms of the number of children she does have. So having twins for her um, will help her achieve this and it would make sense for her. So what do you think? Let me know your thoughts by leaving your comments below. And if you can like and share the video, if it would help me out a lot if you've liked the video. And um, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications of when my next video gets posted. So that's it for this video. I will see you in my next video and until then, it's bye for now.